third graders. This is Miss Mullins, and we are doing day three of our spelling and vocabulary unit week one. So hopefully you are keeping up with your assignments. You've got two full columns on your spelling homework sheet completed, and you are ready to go with your spelling and vocabulary unit week one packet in front of you along with your pencil. So let's get going. We're going to review our spelling pattern, the O-U and O-W sound that share that special sound of ow. Remember our hint, O-W comes in the middle of a word when it is followed by N-L-O-R or E-R. I want you to look at the front page of your Spelling and Vocabulary Unit Week 1 packet where you have all 16 of your spelling words listed, number 1 through 16. Previously, I showed you that number 1 through 8 are spelled with the O-U sound, and number 9 through 16 are spelled with the O-W sound. So what I want you to do is take your pencil and underline the O-U in each of the first eight spelling words, number one through eight, just like I did. Then, on number nine through 16, underline the O-W in each of those spelling words. I'm hoping you're paying attention to patterns that will help you remember how to spell these words and other words with these sounds. I'm going to give you a minute to do that. You should be underlining the OU and the OW in each of your 16 spelling words on your page one of your spelling and vocabulary unit week one packet. Okay, so we're going to turn to the second page in our packet where we have our word sort. And you can see there is a column for the OU words and there is a column for the OW words. It tells us to sort the spelling words into the appropriate column on the chart below. So numbers 1 through 8 that you just underlined OU on those eight spelling words will be listed under the OU column. You can see that I did the first word, ouch, O-U-C-H. Under the second column, O-W, I would do numbers 9 through 16 that I just underlined O-W on. So my first word in the O-W column would be shower, S-H-O-W-E-R. So part of your assignment today will be to complete your word sort chart, your O-U column and your O-W column. And you should have a complete list of your spelling words Make sure that you're spelling them correctly and that it's neat so that you can read it. The second part of the word sort page asks you to write a sentence with two of your spelling words. Include context clues so that someone who may not know the meaning of the word can use the clues to figure out the meaning. Those context clues are very important when you are writing sentences or stories or essays, any kind of writing. So I gave you two examples of my sentences. My sentence number one, I chose the spelling word proud. I was so proud of my daughter when she received an award for her good grades. I am telling my reader 
that the word proud mean is a happy word. And I'm telling my reader that by saying her good grades. Because you know your mom is always proud of you when you get good grades. On sentence number two, the dog began to growl when the stranger knocked on the door. I helped my reader understand that growl was not a happy dog, but a fearful dog by saying stranger knocking on the, knocked on the door. So I gave context clues in my sentence to help my reader understand the word proud and growl. So that's what I want you to do. You can pick any two words of your spelling words. You have 16 to pick from. You write one sentence for one and one sentence for a second one. That is also part of your assignment. Okay. The rest of our assignment is a continuation of what we've been doing on our spelling homework page. We have already completed column one by writing our spelling words each one time and column two by writing our spelling words each one time. Today, you would uh, write them each one more time in column three. So you should end up with your spelling homework page complete with all words spelled correctly. And this is a great study guide for you. Make sure it's nice and neat so you can read it. So let's remind ourselves that our assignment today is to complete our word sort, sort page by sorting our words in the OU column and the OW column. We also are going to uh, create two sentences, one for, two, one for each word that we pick from our spelling words. And remember, make sure you're putting those context clues in there so that your reader knows what your, vo your vocabulary word or spelling word means. Have a great day.